uh, uh oh, oops, maybe uh, take it down a notch, you know, or two. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's Tracy. Today's video, we're going to be heading into the Mac store, but because of safety measures, we're not allowed to touch anything. But I'm really happy they have all their safety measures in place. I feel really safe shopping in the store. And as of right now, when I'm filming this video, they're still offering fast, free shipping. Today I'm going to be focusing mainly on the new bronzing collection. It's limited edition. I'm so excited! And after we're finished filming this tour, we're going to head back to my place. I'll show you just a couple of the things I bought where we'll be allowed to swatch as much as we want. But no swatching in stores, no touchy. 100% no touchy. While we were all on lockdown and our stores were closed, I didn't really notice this collection until these MAC foiled eyeshadows. I had ordered just one, but I loved it so much that I ordered another one and now I want all of them. I believe we used to have these foiled eyeshadow in the regular packaging with the clear top. Anyway, we'll get back to these in just a bit. There are two bronzer in this collection. On the left is Beijing Beauty and on the right is Totally Topless. And now I'm just gonna swing around here to try to let you see the top of it. This came out online June 1st, but it just became available in our stores now. Tell me in the comments, I think they have this line at Ulta. There's only one brush in the collection, but I bought it, so I'll be able to show it to you better a little bit later in the video. Next is the Fix Plus Shimmer in Bronze Light. I always stay with the classic Fix Plus, but I gotta admit, this one is haunting me. Here it just looks clear, but if you shake it up, it gets all golden swirly. And in store, they also have Fix Plus Vibes, all different colors and smells. And they have the Fix Plus Magic Radiance line with more moisturizing vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, gives your skin a little luminosity. I haven't really seen them in action. Okay, gotta focus, back to the bronzing collection. And the Strobe Body Lotion in Bronze Light, I haven't seen this in action either. Okay, anyway, let's just swing over here. And here we see the strobe face glaze. These liquid highlighters look really pretty. I've seen them just a little bit on YouTube and the brown one is bronzure and the pinky one is let's make wave. Time to swing around to the lipstick. It's pretty hard to see them with a cap so let's just get a little help. The packaging is beautiful and the shades look really pretty. This is the best that I can do right now. And there are four lip glasses. I know it would be a lot more fun if we could swatch everything and see everything properly, but we gotta stay safe and we have to respect the rules. And then finally, we have the MAC foiled eyeshadows. I have two of these. I love them. This is where I get a little crazy. MAC was selling these, I believe, about five years ago. I'm reading that these are marginally creamier with slightly smoother shimmer, but keep in mind, it just might be that the other ones are five years old now. On the top left is Tide and Seek, and on the top right, is Monococo and in the middle is Sunphoria. On the bottom left is Saint Tropez and on the bottom right is White Oak. I bought a couple of these so I'll be showing you the swatches very soon. And now just for a little bit let's switch our attention over to the Selena La Rena collection. This one launched on April 21st. One eyeshadow palette, four lipsticks, three liquid lipsticks, three lip gloss, two lip pencils, one highlighter. This palette wasn't even on my radar screen because when I had seen it online I thought it just looked too dark for me but when I saw it in the store, I just thought it looked so complete because you have your primer shade and you have your gradual neutrals, a pop of color, some shimmer. The packaging is beautiful. Perfect size, nice mirror, so uh, it'll be pretty good for travel if we ever go on a trip again. Bottom Monococo and top Saint Tropez. Left Monococo and right Saint Tropez. Usually I'm too lazy to spray my brush, but you can see by the top arm that it's really worth the payoff and they last so well, almost like a potted shadow. This is the 143 SES Medium Face Fan Brush. I love using it for bronzer because it's more precise. It's very, very soft and even though it's dark bristles, it's a synthetic brush. And aren't we happy about that? Everything I showed you today is limited edition and it's starting to sell out. So if you're interested, check into it. Let me know if you plan to get any of these or if you already have them. Especially if you have the ones that I can't find online. I would really love to see how they look. I want to thank my friends at MAC for all their help. And I want to thank you so much for watching. 
and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now. Whenever I say that, she hears me and she knows I'm going to edit after. And she goes to my computer and she sits on it so I can't get any work done. Whiskey. Bye, guys.